Hi, you're welcome to Believers Global TV. On this channel, we create Christian content that will help you in your spiritual growth. This is a place that you get the undiluted word of God, and this is a place that we get to build your spiritual life, your prayer life. You get to understand the word of God more and even deeper. So I encourage you, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, like this message you're about to listen to, and share with others. So without wasting much of our time, let's get into the message of today. God bless you. Listen carefully. The investment of quality time praying in the spirit is a very potent way of activating graces. Investment of quality time praying in the spirit. Not just speaking scripture. It's wonderful. There is a place for that. But quality time praying in tongues, praying in the spirit, you activate graces, you multiply graces. Hmm, this is true. This is true. This is true. It's not about fanatism. There are people who pray amiss, but I am telling you within the boundary of understanding, when you learn to invest quality time praying in the spirit, if you are in this place and you are not filled with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of praying in tongues, tonight can be a chance for you. The prayer department is there. There are people in their variety who can minister to you. This is not about being a Pentecostal or charismatic. People have abused this tongue thing. It has become so irritating. People do not even want to delve around that area. There, there is a decent spiritual way of engaging the prayer language of the spirit such that it profits you. Show me a man who knows how to pray in the spirit and is willing to discipline himself. There is no gift of prayer. There is a grace for prayer and supplication. It only empowers you but the energy comes from you. You will pray and pray with energy. You will feel it as you pray but because of the joy that is set before you. You want to heal nations and you just want to stand up, speak one or two scripture, talk for five minutes and stand and tell people to stand up on a wheelchair? No, sir. All things are finished in Christ. But the price for alignment to receive it and make it work in your life, you will need to submit yourself to prayer. Submit yourself to prayer. Submit yourself to prayer. If you are a man of God here, yeah, let me charge you by the message of God. Obtain grace from God. Wake up in the night when others are snoring. For God's sake, for the sake of your destiny, if it is power with God you desire, wake up in the night and pray. Don't pray just to ease guilt. Don't just pray to show people you are prayerful. No. Pray. Something happens to you as you pray. There is an activation that happens as you pray. You see, what you see today is a cumulative of many years of consistency in prayer. It's not two weeks. It's not one year. It's not 10 years. It's not 15 years. It's a cumulative Every time you go to pray, see yourself signing a register in the spirit. Joshua Selman, present your majesty. I'm here. Shamaka Parakata. No one is seeing you. Tomorrow again, Joshua Selman, present, obtaining grace from you as my commitment. I want to be such a host of your grace. Joshua Selman, next week, present, sir. Joshua Selman, present, sir. Come on. Your voice is known in the realm of the spirit. As you shout that present, demons are hearing too. As you are shouting present, principalities are hearing. When you stand before men, you are not pretending. One shout, they know it's a familiar voice. They know the sound of that voice. And they know the power that that voice carries. They know the power. Pray in the spirit in one minute. Prayer. 
fellowship with the spirit turning you to a sign and a wonder a man of power in the spirit a man of power in the spirit activating manifold graces activating manifold graces every grace you carry is prayer dependent for its activation every grace you carry i don't care what dimension of grace it is prayer dependent for its activation the grace for favor prayer dependent the grace for influence prayer dependent signs and wonders prayer dependent wealth and abundance prayer dependent take a minute and pray sign that register in the spirit building yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost you want god to give you the keys of nations you must submit yourself to prayer my sister submit yourself to prayer my brother submit yourself to prayer man of god this laziness spiritually you won't go far that way takes prayer someone pray someone pray someone pray someone pray stewards of the manifold grace businessman pray businesswoman pray pray consistently pray consistently travail non-pretentiously pray Worshipper pray, apostle pray, prophet pray, banker pray, politician pray, legal practitioner pray. Shalakapat, rabakata prataka pelakata baratos. Prayer with fastings, pray. Prayer with dedications, holding on to the altar, generating power, multiplying grace generating power apostolic power generating power multiplying grace activating manifold graces manifold graces manifold graces until you become a sign and a wonder a sign and a wonder until you embody favor until you embody liftings until you embody restoration One more minute, you are praying. Ela malaga baratos, sabra kata balaga tas, rakata barakata balaga ta, rapata branda barakata braska tas, labrate gabarakatos, ebrakato pariata pas. Activate angels in prayer. Activate the hearts of men in prayer. Command possibilities in prayer. Rewrite your destiny in prayer. Define your possibilities in prayer. Change narratives in prayer. Build stamina in prayer. Tear down the walls of shame and reproach. Tear down the walls of human biases and limitations. Tear down the walls of sentiments and prejudices. Go ahead and pray. Sadabalaka parukatas. 
Gravada Malakatesh, Scada Balaka Paracatos, Soda Balentas, Ibratica Baratus, Scada Branta Caparacos, Ela Baratus Copre de Gaba, Soprende Baracos, Lega Pratica Pa, Egra Cataparacatos, Soda Balada Bacata Branta Caparacatos. Sada Balandas, Scabrata Vanakata Paracotus, in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. You see, let me tell you the truth. Many people talk about prayer. But I submit to you, very few people really understand prayer. Many people, it's a common thing in our world to talk about prayer, especially among ministers of the gospel. Chances are excellent if you don't talk about prayer, it may not be seen as a serious man of God. But very few people really understand the depth, the riches, the dimensions, and the possibilities that befall a man who gives himself to prayer non-pretentious not to have a name not just to have a good testimony before men you can rewrite narratives in prayer you can command possibilities in prayer you can become a prophet in prayer it doesn't matter what you had if you take it to the place of prayer a full stop becomes a comma the moment you get to the place of prayer full stop only remains full stop if you agree no matter what the issue is you take every full stop to the place of prayer you can turn every full stop to a comma and add everything the word of god says should be added hallelujah please sit down number three I'm hurrying up because we're going to do an impartation very quickly. You must receive something tonight. The manifold grace of God. How do you know the grace that is missing in your life? Either the grace, the dimension of grace that has not been received yet or has not been activated yet because there is a limitation to the command of your results in that area the limitations in your command of results is proof that the grace is either not there or it's not been activated listen again how do i know how do i test the presence or the absence of a grace either the grace is not there has not been received you are not even aware that there is such a grace to that dimension or to that degree or you have received it through impartation but you have not been taught how to activate it how to multiply it your command of results in that area remains stunted or completely absent that is how you know a grace is not there Apostle, nobody seems to favor me. I tell you by the integrity of God's word, it is because that grace has not come. Just because you shouted at a miracle service and fell down while shouting, the grace may have landed, but you did not war with it. You didn't activate it. How many of you know how a groundnut, a groundnut, you know, groundnut, when you, it's not, you don't pick the seeds like that. You have to break that shell and bring it out so if I give you a bag full of groundnuts are we together I can give you that as a gift but you are the one who will go through the labor of deshelling it am I right on that the same thing with corn when you pluck corn from the farm it is not immediately edible you have to peel it then maybe roast it or cook it or whatever you want to do with it or turn it into flour and sat, that one is your own responsibility 
I want you to look at the various areas in your life before I give you the third key. The area of barrenness is the area of the absence of grace. The area where you have barrenness of results, believe me, it is the area where there is absence of grace or you have not activated the grace you have received in that area. Some of you love God, but the one cancer destroying your Christian life is you are owing everybody because you are perpetually in lack and want. You have integrity, but this area of finances has disgraced you, embarrassed you, brought reproach. Why keep suffering for nothing when there is a grace that can answer in that area? Are we together now? The first thing is to admit that there is such a grace and that that grace is available in the economy of God but not yet present in your life or not yet activated in your life. There were graces that were not in my life years ago. I was still a Christian. I was filled with the Holy Spirit. I knew the graces were not there. I had to admit with all humility that those graces were not there then to contend for those graces with understanding and when they came i knew they came and now that i've learned how to activate and multiply them mine is to obtain the doing grace to keep working in keeping with the principles that sustain those graces and there is no power in hell that corrupts the testimony of a man who has received these graces in ever increasing dimension and has learned the dynamics of maintaining, activating, and multiplying it. No. God is faithful. God is not just mighty. He is faithful. He has put these principles and everyone who obeys these principles. You see that now? When you obey those principles in truth, the result speaks in your life it speaks so don't complain and say this area this area this area is not working in my life i am telling you once you see a bankruptcy of results perpetually there may be demonic things there may, but the chiefest explanation is that the grace connected to that result is not yet in your life or is not yet activated in your life when you know this like peter you will become by mercy a steward of the manifold graces of god so the wealth of your christian experience becomes the result of your journey of picking the various graces that are needed for the profiting of your adventure so here's how it starts you got born again look at me you got born again empty void of anything full of the life of god but that potential has not been released as you journey through humility you carry wisdom you carry favor you carry speed are we together you carry influence you carry the grace that activates the gift of men by the time you are five years in the faith you are not alone again you have outsourced many mysterious graces this is what defines the quality of your Christian experience. Someone will meet you and say, we were born again at the same time. But did you carry the same grace? Did you activate the same grace? If the answer is no, then that becomes the explanation to your stuntedness spiritually. Apostle, the ministry is not growing. I sympathize with you and I understand sincerely. But I can tell you by grace, by mercy and by experience, there is a grace that is not at work in you that is responsible for drawing men. That grace is called anakazo. It's a compelling power. It doesn't draw Nigerians, it draws men. Anywhere God gives a command, that grace answers. It doesn't matter where. Reinhard Bonke carried it. T.L. Osborne carried it. Maurice Sorulo carried it. It didn't just work in Africa. It worked everywhere God sent them. When you carry it, it works for you anywhere. Within your territory, outside of your territory. You see, it will look like you are the center of attraction. 
but the truth is that you are not that spectacular as a person it is the grace the people who listen don't even know what is drawing them but it is the grace let that grace lift and you will be surprised that as much as you believe you are spectacular you are not that spectacular it is the grace that amplifies you and makes you such an object of awe. This is the reason why when God does the things that he does, we are wise enough to give him glory because our sufficiency is not of ourselves. <laughs> it is of God who has made us stable ministers, not of the letter, but of the spirit. For the letter killeth, but the spirit gives life. Thank you so much for engaging this video to the end. Please, before you leave, give this video a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. One more thing, share this message with others to bless them. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Believers Global TV. God bless you richly as you support us. See you in our next video. We love you and celebrate you.